When the mountain air is so crisp it sparkles, it's a good day to fly. Definitely, I think the kids are attracted to the speed and, and to, the, to flying in the air. It takes nerve to be a ski jumper. Actually, it takes a lot of nerves connected to very specific muscles. It definitely has to be quick power. You have to have the, the, uh, the fast switch muscle fiber um, and then light. It's getting to be a sport where it's lighter and lighter. It's like, like gymnastics where the, the lighter the kid, the farther they're going to fly. No matter how light the jumper, the displacement of air creates resistance. Listen. A trained ear can detect the flaws in a flight. If your ski is on edge, obviously you're going to be losing more, uh, more uh, lift because it's, it's cutting through the air. So you try and have a flat a ski as possible so that you maintain the, the most surface area that you're given. And, uh, and that really helps out with your flight. And then uh, some people roll their shoulders and, uh, and try and uh, create a cup so that, uh, so that they maintain their lift a little bit better. Every launch is a search for the tiniest loophole in the law of gravity. There were some skiers in the past couple years that were starting to wear their, the crotch of their suit down around their knees. Other than making an athlete look silly, what would that accomplish? Well, the larger the suit, the larger the surface area. And the larger the surface area, the bigger your glider is. Suits are carefully measured to make sure they're not simply sails in disguise. Skis are also regulated for size and material. Even with improvements in everything from the skis they use to the clothes they wear, the distance a jumper travels still depends largely on physical ability and almost constant training. Simple move. Good. In the training room, jumpers work on the form and technique that will keep them in the air as long as possible. As they're coming off and they're moving forward, we're trying to make sure that they don't rise the chest up too high so that they're not blocking any air. Over the years, techniques have changed. Once, the proper way to jump was to keep both skis together. Not anymore. We're trying to get that V position where the ski's out just a little bit wider than shoulder width. It's been only since 1985 that the V position was adopted. It's been shown to provide 28% more lift than parallel skis. You get, get into your flight position quickly so that uh, there's less resistance and you maintain uh, the maximum speed you can and hopefully even increase your speed from the takeoff into the flight position, uh, which uh, helps you get your mo uh, more distance. Sometimes it's best not to think about the science behind all this. I talk more about the feel of the jump than the actual um, technical part of it, so you know your shin's two degrees behind or whatever. Adam, still start, start sooner and try and do that again. How many more do you want to take? Everything from the shape of the hill to the direction of the wind factor into success or failure in the air. A slight breeze blowing up the hill can add as much as 30 feet to a jump. It's awesome, especially a day like today. It's just perfect conditions. You can just concentrate on what you need to do. Just have fun. Sometimes fun involves something a little different. To provide a look at a teammate's form in midair, a jumper wearing a camera follows him down the 90 meter hill. Your body's a sail and your skis are wings and uh, that's, that's all there is to it, you know? It's flying, it is the most natural form of flying. Uh, it's you, a jumpsuit, and two sticks. It's a dream most of us have had soaring across the sky, surrounded by empty space. It's only a dream, of course, but it's amazing how close you can get to having it come true. You come off that jump, you get that little bit of feeling where everything's just going and lifting up. There's no gravity, there's nothing at all. And then you start to feel it. And when the better jumps, you definitely feel you can pull away and you're floating for sure.